hi guys welcome back to the channel it's a brand new video for a brand new year and a brand new project car but before we get into this I'd just like to say uh, a huge thank you to all the dudes over at poorboysworld.co.uk for the cool garb got a wicked little beanie and a really well made nice warm hoodie that should keep this old boy uh, nice and toasty when he's detailing on days like today three degrees and it's january the 22nd let's take a look at the car so here's the new project car in question it's a 2009 daihatsu materia um, otherwise known in the rest of the world as a toyota bb or a daihatsu coup i think subaru did a version of it as well little 1.5 litre four cylinder petrol engine Bit of an impulse buy to be honest with you, as nice as the Saab was, it was absolutely crippling me on fuel um, and I kind of got to the point where I couldn't really do a lot more to it, it was pretty much corrected as, as much as my capabilities would allow. Um, so I thought it was time for a change and I do like, I do like funky cars to be honest and let's be honest it's not going to get much funkier than this is it? Um, going to do a few product reviews in this today as well um, as always I think we're going to start with the wheels and the arches so let's get cracking so you guys know the score by name first product to be reviewed today is Trolls Breath Fallout Remover I'm going to be using this on the wheels uh, and I'm going to spray it on, leave it to dwell, um, and I'll be doing the tyres and the arches while that's uh, doing its stuff. Let's give it a go. So it's literally straight from the container, straight into a trigger bottle. And we've all done this before, we know how it works. Right, let's spray that on there, let's leave it to dwell. And while that's working its magic, on with the citrus pre-wash in the arches. And around the tyres. It's not the fastest reacting in the world, but I can see it begin to change. Just going to take an old worn out wheel woolly. I'm going to get inside the barrels with it. As you would expect from a fallout remover, it absolutely stinks. And it seems to be reacting and doing its stuff now quite well. Now I will be agitating, I won't just be uh, rinsing straight off. I know a lot of people say that these fallout removers are just strictly uh, a spray on and rinse off. But it doesn't hurt to be thorough does it? Thank you. 
actually as far as the smell goes it's not nearly as bad as I have smelt uh, other fallout removers to but it still stinks but it's not so bad certainly suds quite well and it does feel fairly well lubricated as well which is a good thing right Let's go and get the hose and give it a rinse. Come in for a closer look. Well, it's definitely got the wheels clean and it reacted quite well. It's done very little for the staining that's in the alloys there. I'm fairly sure that's going to need something a little stronger than that, but that's not a bad result, is it? That's not bad at all. Dust stink though. Okay, on to the pre wash stage now. Um, nothing special, yeah, this is just. Uh, bit of old dregs of snow foam that I'd left over mixed with some TFR because the car, although it looks clean, is absolutely filthy. Let's get foamy. I'm all the foam's dwelling. Let's get in these nooks and crannies. Also gives me time for a vape as well. So now it's time for the wash. Um, today I'm using Poor Boy's World Super Slick and Suds. And as always, it's my usual concentration ratio of 50ml of product to 450ml of warm water. Excuse the step, I'm only five foot eight and I can't reach the middle of the roof.
remember. Dirty soap needs to go to the floor. In the rinse bucket, rinse water goes to the floor. Inspect your mitt. Crack up. through, flip to a clean side, carry on. When you finish washing one panel, rinse water into the floor, back into your rinse pockets. I really wish people did thermal gloves though, my hands are like ice. That's looking nice and better now, isn't it? Uh, last product of the day is going to be Poor Boys World Iron Remover. Um, this is quite possibly one of the best iron removers I've ever moved, used. Give me a second. Wow, that stinks. Now, the reason I'm using iron remover on this is because I actually want to do a chemical decontamination. When I picked this up from the dealer, it was, uh, well, for one, it was covered in snow, um, but it was also quite evident by the uh, renowned cherry smell that a heavy glaze had been used on it. So I wanted to get everything stripped back and as clean as possible just to check the condition of the paint. Um, let's give this a few minutes to dwell and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so it's been on for about oh, three, four minutes now, and you can see it's beginning to act all, react already. Surprisingly, not nearly as much iron as I was expecting. Still doing its job though. And I tell you what, if you thought brag and drift smells, oh my god, this really does. Right, let's get everything rinsed off and let's get it dried and let's inspect the paint. Okay, so the card is now washed. Looking much better, I will say. Um, roughly dried off. So let's have a quick inspection of the paint now. Uh, while I was drying it off, um, I have noticed uh, a few things. Mainly, I'm not sure as if the camera's going to pick this fella up. That's an absolute beaut of a scratch. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can feel that with my nail. Oh, joy. Um, looking round, it, it is quite evident actually that the previous detailer did use a glaze on this because I didn't pick any of this up. So there's lots of random little isolated scratches, obviously keys, nails when they go to open the door. But I have noticed that. Will it pick it up or not? This scratch there, and it runs all the way along to there and I can kind of feel that with my nail as well um, swell wise I think somebody has had a go but not particularly well it's absolutely full of holograms and I really mean full of holograms perhaps I haven't managed to wash all of the uh, all of the glazes. I'd say this is a two or three coats of glaze to be honest before I brought it. Um, if you're interested in the little light I'm using, this is actually from Lidl, it was 4 99 but you know what? It's pretty good. Um, moving along, I've also noticed quite a decent scratch here and it's running all the way along. You can kind of feel it. Typical random isolated scratches all over the pillars. It's vinyl, I mean, th that could be improved upon. Again, little ridge there. Nice gash in the door there. Oh dear. 
another absolute cracker there. If you hadn't already guessed, this is being filmed on a Samsung Galaxy 20e. Now, I am kind of hoping it will pick up on these fellas here. Because they are deep. I mean deep. I can, f can you hear it? Probably not with the background noise. I've got the M6, M42 and the A456 behind me. But again, the scratches everywhere. I'd say it's most probably spent all of its life going through uh, an automated car wash. Or a bush, <laughs> because it certainly looks like he's been gone through a bush quite a few times as well. Passenger side, surprisingly not too bad. Um, usual little chips that you get from door dinks, etc. Surprisingly, very little tar. There is some to remove. Um, that's not going to be such a big problem though. The worst one I've found though is this fella. That's that's metal there. And listen, you just, that's deep. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time with a toothpick and some silver paint to try and build the level up. Um, hit it with some 2,2500 grit wet and dry and try and polish it back. It's gonna be there. I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it completely, but I can make it look a hell of a lot better. And again, uh, we've got more up here, look. Just generally, for a 57,000 mile car, it, it, it's been through the wars. It really has. But, the detail in this one will make very interesting viewing, I think. Um, which is why I brought it. I brought it for channel content. Also because it's different. And uh, I think I'm going to have some fun with this. Right, when the weather gets a little better, expect a very, very, very big upload from me, um, getting this thing sorted out and looking sweet. Guys, thanks for looking. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, keep it shiny.